Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's getting chilly out and you know what that means? It means it's going to be whoop season real soon. And a while back I did a kind of a roundup of 1S chargers. And in that I kind of led towards the Strix HV being probably my favorite charger. Uh, next to the Ultra Power, which is kind of a different beast all on its own just because it'll do 2S packs as well. But the one that I really, really liked and I was somewhat disappointed with was the ISDT UC4. The ISDT UC4 runs off USB-C. It charges at half an amp, one amp, and one and a half amps. That's, that's huge. It charges four batteries at a time. It's 1S only. And the issue was, is it only charges at standard voltage, 4.2 volts per cell with 1S pack. So that's it. 4.2 and everything I fly now that uses these little batteries pretty much is all HV. I have no use charging these at anything other than HV. Everything I own runs with HV and all the packs I have are HV. And most things that come out right now, they all pretty much get a good uh, little bump in performance by using HV packs. So the big downside of this is it doesn't do HV and it was such a bummer. But uh, back when I started talking to ISDT, they said, yep, yeah, we're, we're thinking about working on making this do HV. And you know what? They did it. This thing charges HV packs now. Check this out. Four point three two volts. This thing's not super accurate, but this is charging HV packs and it'll charge HV at one half amp, one amp, and one and a half amps. So I am going to show you how to make this guy become useful. And this, in my opinion, is the best charger on the market right now for doing 1S packs, mostly because A, it'll do HV packs, B, it's USB-C, and I'm a, a Samsung Note user, so I have USB-C ch charging cords and bricks with me all the time. And it's tiny, it's tiny, it's aluminum, it is super well built. This is my favorite 1S LiPo charger. All right, let's jump over to the computer and I will show you how to make this thing work. Here's, okay, here's how we update the ISDT UC4 to charge lithium high volt batteries. Sorry, I don't have a tripod this time. Um, yeah, they're just gonna have to deal with it. So we're gonna go to isdt.co, go over to support. And down on the page, we're going to click on the UC4 and download this file. Once downloaded, go ahead and extract the file. And you're going to find a couple folders here. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff right now. Go ahead and plug your UC4 into your computer. And give it a couple seconds to recognize the device and install the firmware for it. Or install the driver for it. Once that's done, double click the SCU file. and go ahead and hit update. Seems like you have to hit it twice. Once we'll disconnect the device and the second time we'll write the new firmware update to it. Okay, so that's done. We'll go ahead and close this and come over to the LIHV 4.3V folder and open up the UC4 tool. Now in here, all we need to do is select lithium high volt and our target voltage, which is 4.35 volts, and hit set. And that's it. It's just that simple. Now, looking at this menu, it does seem like you can maybe make it do high volt on some settings and not others, but I found that it's all or nothing. It's going to do lithium high volt on... Half an amp, one amp, one and a half amp. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe in the future they'll make it so we can do like high volt on half amp and standard capacity, or standard voltage on one and one and a half amp. But uh, that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, make this thing charge high volt. All right. So as you can see, this is a very simple update, very simple upgrade to make this guy do what it should have done the day it came out. But the reason why I was doing it on a different computer than what you usually see in my videos and why I was doing it handheld is that is a different PC than my normal rig. My normal computer, 
does not recognize this. Every time I plug it in, it says it's a unknown device, uh, something, something, failed to reboot. I'll probably put a screen grab right here. And I cannot for the life of me get this thing to work on that computer. That computer has also been formatted, restart, like everything has gone fresh on that and it still doesn't work. I didn't do that just to make this work, but just no, just as a note, that did happen and it still does not work on that computer and I have no idea why. I've contacted ISDT and you know what? They were absolutely no help. Uh, every time I contact them, they say they need to see videos or pictures and I've given them everything they need. I hear nothing, I contact them back and we just start this merry-go-round over each time and I am kind of sick of it. They don't have a solution for me and I know that it's me. It's something on my computer because I have two other computers that this thing works just fine on. So I'm not really faulting ISDT. I am kind of irritated that they're not really following through with it, but hey, it's my problem, not theirs. Uh, but super easy to do, super easy to make this guy work. If you're interested in this, please check out the link in the video description. Uh, that would really help me out. Uh, the links to ISDT or will be down there as well. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe. I do have a Patreon if you really want to help me out. Check out the product description. And man, I can't wait for whoop season. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time. Keep whooping.